that will be the air start card. That blows hot air across basically a turbocharger. So there is like a turbo within the car. Um, that spins around, that connects to the, a gearbox, and then from that gearbox is a shaft that drives into the main jet engine. And that will bring that up to a speed. When it gets to a certain speed, you'll then be able to start the igniters and the jet will start working. It will self-sustain, will disconnect the air start cart, and the, the car's car ready to roll. in position. Clear to roll. Wind is 2 o'clock, 5 knots. So the needle you can see in the middle of, middle of Andy's cockpit there, that is his speedo. So you'll see that needle as it accelerates. So, Bloodhound is go! Beautiful sight, you can hear the cheers. I can even hear the cheers and the, and the applause in the, in the background. Wow, I mean, I, that, that is quite something, Mark. You know, just a, a few seconds of, of reheat on the jet. Flames coming out of the back, that fantastic E-flux out of the back. And, and Bloodhound SSC has accelerated from yep. zero to 200 miles an hour in, in eight seconds. And as we said, one and a half G. I mean, it, it, it is, a, you know, I still get goosebumps when I see that. And I've seen it a few times now. It... So we're at Newquay uh, Cornwall Airport. Um, we're about to start the low speed testing phase of Bloodhound SSC. What we're hoping to achieve today is a 200 mile per hour run where we can start getting some data back from the car. We can get a handle on how the jet engine is performing um, and start building some confidence towards the high speed testing that we're going to be doing next year. Well, we're going to run the car down the runway twice and we're going to go to 200 miles an hour. We can't go any faster because first of all, we've got to stop on the runway. <laughs> and, and secondly, of course, we're using rubber tires and they're only really clear to just over 200. The great thing is it's an opportunity for people to see the car, feel the car, get the noise in the car, all the rest of it, and have a really exciting day around it. I've been working for over 10 years now on the aerodynamic modeling uh, of the behavior of Bloodhound. Um, so we needed to develop our computational fluid dynamics capabilities. Uh, we needed to be able to model things like a 1,000 mile per hour rolling ground plane, supersonic rotating wheels, and all of that was done uh, through research funded by EPSRC. Today was all about showing that Bloodhound was ready to go faster. And we were also going faster today than we had been before. Brakes off by about 40 miles an hour, maximum reheat kicks in, the car is now accelerating at 1.5 G. It's the equivalent of 0 to 60 in two seconds in a normal road car. The 10 year old girl that doesn't yet know she's excited about science and technology is gonna look at a wow performance by this car and just ask that one key question, how does that work? And that's all we need. We've managed to get that message in front of two million kids in the UK already, and that's before today when we started running the car. The legacy will be beyond the miles per hour, won't it, really? The legacy, if you think, uh, go back to the 70s, the Apollo programs, what did it do? EPSRC has invested a, a million pounds alongside others in the education program. That's touched 5,000 schools, two million school children, so young girls and boys really being inspired by this iconic project. To see that it's fun, as well as has real impact globally.